Alon Vandenberg, you're with uh, Cushman and Wakefield, and uh, what you really know a lot about, uh, at least here, is the Abu Dhabi office market. Correct. What's going on? Well, um, I think it's important to, to, to state that Abu Dhabi is evolving quite rapidly, which is a very good sign. Um, there's a lot of talk in the market about new developments going on, that they're pushing ahead um, despite the economic situation, which is great for Abu Dhabi, which will help Abu Dhabi establish itself um, as a unique market by itself. Um, within with the Cushman Wakefield, um, you know, we see great opportunities um, for our clients strategically for the future in Abu Dhabi. Um, we also, however, realistically have a view on what's going to happen with the market in Abu Dhabi and we believe there's going to be a two-tier market in the future in Abu Dhabi where um, the flight to quality in general will allow a lot of our clients both on the tenant side and on the landlord side um, to secure long-term tenure and improve their real estate positions however and the reality is that the older and more um, um, lower grade buildings will um, potentially suffer um, as Cushion Wakefield, we can help our clients there as well to build a long-term strategy, what to do with these buildings, and with proper investment, secure long-term tenure for that as well. One of the things we hear about all the time here, and which we see around ourselves, is that there's uh, very little affordable housing. Housing is generally unaffordable, yeah. and uh, many people have it paid by their companies, so that's sort of okay, but many, many other people don't. Uh, do you see opportunities there? Even though as Cushion Wakefield we're not into residential housing here, of course we get asked the question and we know something about it. Um, I believe that the Abu Dhabi um, Council is right in um, making commercial used villas or um, residential villas used by, for commercial purposes um, to stop that and to stop allowing people to licensing this and moving into proper commercial office buildings which will allow more um, residential uh, property come to the market. Now, I think last week it was announced that there's going to be about 20,000 units coming onto the market in 2010, which will relieve some of the pressure in Abu Dhabi. If you look at the full development in Abu Dhabi and some of the new um, CBDs or, or business districts, um, it's all planned around residential. So the whole plan of Abu Dhabi 2030 will allow for much more residential and much more uh, commercial office space into the market which in itself will create some sort of oversupply, which will reduce rents, <laughs> both residential and on the commercial side, which is great in all honesty for everybody, because it will be a more mature market where there's a better balance between the tenant and the landlord. And again, they will understand each other's value for long term. And that's what we at Cushion Wake will try to um, bring as a message to help our clients understand what value it is to have a long term relationship with your landlord as well as with your tenant. How do you feel about the, um, the islands, Reem Island and Soa Island? Uh, do you see those projects as becoming successful fairly quickly or uh, some of them were, were kind of put on hold before? Uh, how do you view that whole thing? I, Soa Island and Reem Island are very different. Soa Island, of course, is, is part of the financial plan. It's gonna be the financial heart of Abu Dhabi. And naturally will attract a certain amount of clients um, that are forced just by network to be in that area. Ream Island, um, I'd like to be optimistic about it, but also be realistic at the same time. If they want to make Ream Island a success, they need to properly install infrastructure and not just a tower by itself in an area without proper roads, without proper facilities, amenities for people working or living in there. And that's my fear, is that it's going to be sold as it's sold individually by plot they're not, not going to be a overall master plan it's not going to be finished and therefore it's going to be towers individually on a plot of sand basically but there is the abu dhabi master plan the yeah. the 2030 plan yeah. uh, it's not that's not accounted for under that i think it is but the question is um how quickly um, will they do this because there, as there's going to be an oversupply there's always the risk financial risk for landlords but also in that sense for the abu dhabi government is so how do you deal with this and I think um, it's important, and that's why we're working with our clients on a strategic level, is to make sure they are ahead of the game. And I think given our global experience at Cushion Wake, we can help our clients how to deal with these kind of situations.